Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I want to give you a quick wrap up of what I read in the month of April and also what I did in my reading journal. So I have not finished all of the spreads um, for the um, for the full month. So um, I it's going to take me a little bit of time and April was a very busy month with school and uh, just life everything but I did wanted to give you a quick wrap up of what I read and um, the ratings that I gave and also um, the spreads that I did finish for this month because I think they turned out very pretty um, I added this um, and my intention was to add some more quotes and I probably will later on just add little things here and there but so far I think I like it like this it's not too full but it's not um, I mean it's not too much it, it looks okay like that so I might leave it like that and use another page for um, quotes of the books that I read but this page over here you guys have already seen it So in each day of the calendar, I would write the name of the book that I'm reading. If I'm not reading, then of course I would write no reading for that day. And then if I finish the book, then I would write finish um, in that. And then that would help me keep track of when I started a book and when I finished it. And then I try to keep it the same color. For example, if I'm reading a physical book, then I started coloring uh, the um, for that day the box for that day the same color as I would do over here in my tracker um, the same color as physical if it's an audiobook then these are a ghost squad I read and it's an audiobook I try and keep it a little bit more organized next time so uh, we'll see but so far that is uh, over here I track the same things I really like this tracker and this is how I attempt to track my reading every month. Then I have this and this I have the list of the books that I read. Um, I have all my statistics. I have that I read two historical fictions, one non -fic no, two non-fictions. Three of the books that I read, um, and of course this, these overlap, but um, two of the books that I read were, three, I'm sorry, of the books that I read were fantasy, one was a novella, um, one was written by an African American author, one was reading by, actually two, because the novella is also written, written by an Asian author, and then two of them were written, written by Latinx authors. One was middle grade and four were adult books. I own two of the books and I borrowed three of the books from the library. Although one of the books that I borrowed from the library, I decided to buy it. So um, now I own that book. I ended up re reading 933 pages and of audiobooks, I ended up listening to about 13 hours of audiobooks that is that as far as spreads this is the last one that i finished i'm still working on what is going to be the spreads for uh each of the books i am going to make a spread for each of the books that i read this month but i'm still working on it this is something that um i'm looking to do i'm not sure this is an idea that um somebody had in my comments uh i'll try to put um highlight the the comment that i got and um uh, they asked me if i would put the cover of the book inside the jar and i thought that was such a good idea and i don't know if i'm gonna do it this way or if i want to put like the information of the book in one of these so something like that but i thought this is so cute I like this or is it I don't know I don't know something like that I think it'll look really really cute thank you so much for for the idea and then I will be using the next couple of pages to um, 
This one is gonna be for the burning god. So I still have to come up with a, that spread. As far as the spreads, this is what I have come up with. Now, let me tell you about the books that I read. Uh, of course, I've been talking about this one, so I'm gonna start with this one. I read The Burning God. Oh, man. This was such a good book. Um, in the beginning, it was a little slow. There, it definitely has parts in the book that you just want to get to the good part because you know it's coming. Um, I've heard a lot of complaints about the ending, but to me, the ending was so satisfying. I don't want to say too much, but if you want a spoil review of the full trilogy, um, I have I have a lot to say. There's there's so so much in this in this story, but um, uh, this does not deserve, in my opinion, does not deserve anything less than five. So after I finished uh, the book, I also read the novella. It is included in the back of my edition. And um, this is just a little short novella. I think it's like 17 pages. And this is a little parts of the story throughout the whole trilogy that talks about how the story is evolving but through the eyes through the point of view of Neja instead of through the point of view of Rin and I really liked it this is supposed to be 2.5 so you can read it between the Dragon Republic and the and the Burning God but I waited till the end because there is a little bit of a spoiler uh in one of the short stories at the end of everything like once I was done with the full trilogy just going back from the very beginning and just look it just kind of like a, a short summary but through the the eyes of another pov was a very interesting way to finish the story and i really liked it it was like a good way to end the um the trilogy you know so this book is hood feminism notes from the woman that a movement forgot by mickey kendall and um, it's a nonfiction. It is a very good way to start if you um, don't know much about uh, feminism and those different waves of feminism. And I thought it was very interesting. I definitely, this is a subject that I would like to learn a lot, lot more. And um, this is a good way to start. The next book I read is Ghost Squad. And this is by Claribel Ortega. I don't have the actual book this is the little image that i got for that i'm going to end up putting in my in my reading journal and this is a middle grade book about uh, this little girl that is trying to basically save her family including the uh, family members that have already passed away and it has a lot of references to the uh, latinx culture of you know um your ancestors are just part of you, who you are, and even though they have passed away, they're still there to guide you. And um, I mean, it's just such a wholesome book. Like every time I would read this book, it's like um, reading or um, I would think about my own family and our talks. And it's like sitting together at the table and having like these conversations um with my own family so it was such a wholesome book highly recommended another five stars of this month the next book i read is an african-american and latinx history of the united states this is written by paul ortiz this is a non-fiction it is a very short book i read this one uh as an ebook i borrowed it from my library this is a brief history book um it touches on very important uh details in the history of african american and latinx people here in the u.s but it also includes a lot of resources that um, are available so i am encouraged to continue to read and continue to learn about our history here in the u.s and um, i thought it was a very interesting book i gave it four stars and i wish it would have been longer so that is all that I have. Those are the books I read this month. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.